Hello, I'm Z. Today I want to show you yet another video about the Farmer 3.18 exploit games. It were... No, it has been 9 days, nearly 10 days since these games got announced. And the games are still available in the PlayStation Store. Usually Sony removes these games after 1 or 2 days. But now nearly 10 days have passed and the games are still available. As you can see, my PSP is running Farmer 3.18. I could try to update it, but it an error. But it should find um, no Farmer at all. Let's see. Disable Wi-Fi. Enable Wi-Fi. System update. Okay, there we go. Uh, it cannot find a newer version because no newer version is currently available. So 3.18 is the newest farmer available. And as long as you use one of the following exploit games, you can run the TNV eCustom farmer. Or if you are more familiar with the PlayStation Portable, the complete menu of the PSP, the crossbar menu, on your PS Vita as long as you get one of the following exploit games. Since people want to have the smallest or the fastest game, I will show you which is the smallest and which is the fastest. For Europe, which is what I'm showing first, you should get Go Sudoku. Since this one is, well, it's actually kind of small, it's only 200 MB. But it's very very fast and it's only 4 euro, so it's very cheap. Since I'm using the German PlayStation Store because I live in Germany, the whole PlayStation Store interface is in German. That's why this says Herunterladen instead of Download. But I could download it. And I will just show you that I could download it and that the downloaded version is fully working. Because Sony does not patch games, they only patch via the firmware. And when they may, when they release a new farmer and make it mandatory, you have the choice: online services or exploit games. Okay, for the European store, it's recommended to get Go Sudoku if you want a fast game. If you want a small game, you could get Space Invaders Extreme. I think it's only 50 MB. So that's pretty small. As you can see, it's a bit more expensive. It's 10 euro. And it's not slow, but it's slower than Go Sudoku. So if you want a fast game, get Go Sudoku. If you want a small game, get Space Invaders. Let's see. As you can see, it's 232 MB. So it will take one more minute to download, even though it's actually already installed, so downloading it is kind of, well, it's not necessary. Another game that's working is Patapon 2. What's also working is Patapon 1. Um, for the PlayStation 1 exploits, there is Tekken 2, then there is... XS Moto, I think that's a name in the American store and in most European stores, unfortunately not in the German store, the second PlayStation 1 exploit game is called Sports Super Break 2. And if you want to have a fast game for the American store, I would get Talkman Travel. Um, I cannot check it in my store because it does not exist in my store. Um, I will show it to you when I will launch the T and the Ecosum Farmer. I will do it via Petapon now. Oh, and if you use the Australian PlayStation Store, so if you live in New Zealand or Australia, you can basically use the same games as the European one, which would be also Go Sudoku or otherwise Space Invaders Extreme or otherwise Patapon 2 or Patapon 1. Those should all exist in Europe and Australia.
as you can see, Patapon 2 is quite fast. It's not the fastest, but it's actually very easy to use and it's quite fast. And you can easily run a TNV with this. So you have no problems. Let's check back with the download. Nearly finished. As you can see, if you're a Petapan 2, I'm running I'm running the 3.18 TNV 10 e custom farmer via Petapan 2. But you can also run it with a different game, which is currently still downloading. It's nearly finished. And as you can see, it's 232 MB, so it's not so big. It's kind of small. So let's use the fast game for Europe, which is Go Sudoku. Go Sudoku should also exist in Australia, which I think already said. If you live in Japan, I would just get Patapon 1, Patapon 2 or Gladiator, Gladiator Begins. Since those are the best games for Japan. And as you can see, Ghost Sudoku is quite fast. You can skip everything it displays. You have to select one language, regardless which one you select. Okay, my settings reset. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. And as you can see, we are Go Sudoku. We can also run the TNV custom farmer. If I now use the PSP store, I can access a different store, like the American store or the Asian store, which is kind of special. But at first, I will show you the American store. I think. There we go, United States, English, 5, 2, whatever. Okay. Let's see, search. Um, talk, man. Revel. Let's see. We should find the game easily. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Talkman Travel Tokyo. If you get this game, if you use the North American PlayStation Store, you can boot TNV very, very fast. I've got a video about this. It's I can put it in the description if you want to. As you can see, the game is only 18 MB, it costs $3, so it's cheap, small and fast. The perfect exploit game. Otherwise, there are other games in the list, but I will just show you the best ones. So, Talk My Travel for North America, Go Sudoku for Europe and Australia. If you live in Japan, I would simply get Patapon 1 or Patapon 2. Let's see. Reset all settings. And if you are in Asia, you have to buy a game via the PSP or a PS3 or a computer or whatever. You can actually download the game via your PS Vita, but you cannot buy it via your, your PS Vita. I will now select an Asian country like Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand and so on. And then I will show you which game I'm talking about. Since the PlayStation stores are basically split up in multiple ones, but these multiple ones can be put in like five groups. One of the groups is North America, one of the group groups is Europe, Australia is, Australia is kind of in the Europe group, but sometimes it is not. So, yeah, another group is 
Japan, since it has games that are available just in Japan, but not in the other parts of Asia. And the rest of Asia is another group. And the rest of Asia is a special case, since... Let's choose Thailand. Since the rest of Asia sometimes has games that use European safe data, sometimes have games that use Japanese safe data, and even in very very few examples have safe data that use North American safe data. So the Asian store is a bit weird, since it has basically a bit of everything, but otherwise we have the groups North America, Europe, Japan and so on. For the Asian store you need to get Skate Park City, that's this game. You can buy it with your PSP, you can buy it with your PS3 I guess, and you can buy it via your computer on the online website. But if you search this game on your PS Vita, on your PlayStation Vita application, you cannot find it. But if you buy this game and then go to the PlayStation Store application on your PS Vita, if you're using the Asian PlayStation Store. Oh god, fucking Wi Fi. Then you can go to your download list and you will find the game and you will be able to download the game. So if you buy Skate Park City from the Asian PlayStation Store and then go to your download list, you can find it in here and buy it. You can see the last game I bought is Go Sudoku. Otherwise I bought Tekken 6 because it was cheap, only 4 euro, and I bought Patapan 2 because I used the Patapan 2 exploit before I got Go Sudoku. So if you are in Asia, get Skate Park City and then download it via the download list. For the other countries, I already said what to get, like Go Sudoku, Trogman Travel and so on. As you can see, you can play foreign games, you can play your own games, you can play homebrews, you can play PS1 games, emulators and so on. Everything can be done via TNV 10 at the farmer 3.18. And as I showed you, the games are still in the store, you can still download them, they are not patched, because Sony never patches the games, they patch the firmware. So, update your device to 3.18, get an exploit game, and then simply use TNB. It's great, you can do everything you can do at your PlayStation Portable, you can play PS1 games, you can use plugins, as you can see above here, that's, just, that's not normal there. You can play ISOs, you can play CSOs, you can play emulators, homebrews, and so on, and so on, and so on. Everything at the most recent farmer, you can access the PlayStation Store. So, get the game while you can. I'm the Vedant, see you soon.